Hello. Hello. I still can't get over how weird the music cuts, and I always forget that I have to fix it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh my God, I can see a lot of people already. Yes, there is already a lot, uh, a lot of people, m way more comments than I'm used to. So I'm already a little bit stressed. Hello, hello. We have, we have Patricia, Moita, Michelle, Susu, um, Noemi, Marta, Facebook user. Facebook <laughs> user. Uh, it's Frasier. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Great. Um, hello. Okay. Okay. So, so what we are doing today? <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm still not sure. I have some little stuff in my container. I have a small round yard I want to play with. Um, Something small, something cute, everybody can do, and monochromatic because that is that the uh, challenge Olga uh, proposed me, and I said like, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, I just want to put the disclaimer be, be, before somebody uh, will come in the comments and be like, oh, you are cheating. The call, yes. the, the challenge is monochromatic, not using only one color because monochromatic means that you are working with the narrowed palette uh, around one shade and black and white will not count as additional colors because that would that would not work with the idea of having a interesting live stream showing something fun and uh, struggling with using only one color that would make uh, uh, works very, very dull. So uh, uh, we will... Yes, yeah, so it's, it's not like we are going to use blue and only Prussian blue. No. If we go with blue, we will go with a wide range of blue. But I think we both today we are going to work with brown. <laughs> <laughs> My absolutely favorite palette. Fifty Shades of Brown is my go-to. So no surprise here. Uh, everything is brown, and I hope that uh, it will turn quite nice. Uh, I also prepped for the smaller project because they are yes. scary. <laughs> <laughs> So, ah, hello, Nikki, Jesse, hello, Leanne, hello, everybody that is joining. I'm going to start working because, you know, I'm a slow worker, so I need to start. Yeah. Uh, I already did a little bit. I casted the um, Buffalo School twice, and I stick it together. And I also added on top a layer of clay. Um, it air drying clay so I will be able to heat it with the heat gun. I uh, added the details back because with resin you get amazing detail on your uh, on your uh, cast. I'm looking for painted. Unfortunately mine have a little bit of black black fluid on it. But it has what <laughs> is that? Oh, you are using it. He came running from the garden and he was jumping like crazy. So I hold him so he is not going to bark. <laughs> I saw the fairy pal. I have one that uh, that is kind of primed. So it have a lot of detail when you run it with the resin and you lose some of them when you use clay. So with my tiny tool, I brought back uh, the details and now we will heat dry it. Okay. So I'm going to add several layers of gears, like pretending this the clock box oh my god this is so okay it's now then inside okay um so i want to go to do a little disclaimer for my spanish viewer 
uh, because this live stream is on Finnebar and Friends Open Studio, but it's also going live on my YouTube channel. So let me do a disclaimer for them. Hi, Aditi. <laughs> Entonces, chicas que estáis en mi canal de YouTube, hoy vamos a hablar sobre todo en inglés, ¿vale? Si tenéis alguna pregunta en español, me la hacéis en el chat, que yo la leo y os respondo en español, pero la conversación va a ser mayormente en español para que no se haga muy largo el directo, ¿vale? Si no entendéis algo eh, de lo que estoy haciendo, de lo que está haciendo Olga, me lo preguntáis y os contesto en castellano, no hay problema. Luego, cuando ya esté el vídeo subido a YouTube y lo haya procesado, se generan subtítulos automáticamente. Vale, pues eso, eso era lo que quería decir. Uh, I think that if somebody will have questions or want uh, or you want to translate something, I'm I'm pretty sure that it's uh, perfectly allowed. Yeah, but uh, you know, I don't want this to be super long, so we will talk in English and if somebody has any questions in Spanish, then I will reply in Spanish. Okay. So I heated it with heat gun and I'm bending the horns forward because uh, I uh, did live yesterday. I did the same trick just with the biggest call and it came out so nice that I want to do it again. I will see the result in one second. I just need to hold it until the resin will cool down. So right now uh, it's me holding stuff to dry. <laughs> me is drying, drying and burning myself. Nothing too fancy. No, you will, uh, you will prime at least five times. <laughs> <laughs> you already know me. Okay, okay. So wait. I'm trying to prime once. <laughs> uh, I would like to prime only once, but. You know. No, it's not realistic. No, no, I, I don't think that you are capable of priming just once. I'm not. <laughs> but I uh, I share the opinion that not to prime is a crime. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So I bended the horns and my skull is a little bit 3D because I want to do something that will be matching to my yesterday project and um, yeah it's still not finished uh but kind of so i did that call yesterday and oh wow so i hope that today it will uh it will look also really nice <clears throat> that's uh, amazing I would use Dremel to remove that that line, but we will uh, we will just forget about it, and he will be smiling because I added the the clay on top of the resin. They don't combine seamlessly, so there is a there is a line. It will be not very visible, though. Uh, you, you know, probably somebody. Uh, uh, somebody day will be a little bit brighter, knowing that my father is smiling. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to smooth the surface with the tiny synthetic brush and a little bit of water. Oh my god, I hope you cannot hear the commotion because I, I closed the door, but I, I can hear that cat is messing around in the other room because he he's forbidden from entering the room for now when i'm streaming he, he was causing too much drama <laughs> okay so i place uh first layer bigger gears now a smaller ones and in the center i'm going to place a couple of pieces of cardboard that will hold my biggest piece okay what is this nobody knows why i have uh, and you are using mostly uh, new release molds, yeah? Yes, exactly. So I'm using gears from, I don't know which mold, like some from here, some from there. And then I will use uh, this clock, this pocket watch, but I cut this part. So it's just the round and I will place this other one on top. 
I made mine a little bit deeper and I made also empty pockets a little bit deeper. I just placed a ring from uh, air drying clay inside of the mold while I'm pouring the resin. So then you have a little bit more space for the composition. But then I picked skull that it's uh, way bigger than the opening. So actually, uh, the benefit of having the, the bigger opening uh, will not work out for me. But but still, I think that the trick is cool. Okay. So as I want to place this on top, um, but I need to prime everything first because otherwise I'm not going to be able to reach some areas. So I'm going to just give it this a uh, quick priming with heavy gel. So by the way, I was using heavy body gel from Finabar to glue all the pieces and now Finabar heavy gel, so in black. Uh, Mocha is asking, ¿Qué pasta es la de tus moldes? Uh, my molds or Olga's molds? I made my good resin. Olga, did you use uh, any paste for your pieces? Uh, no, only the top, top layer of the skull is the air drying clay, so I can add the details that will be lost, but I'm working with resin because it's faster for the live stream. Okay. So, now in Spanish. Um, yo estoy utilizando resina de poliuretano para los moldes y Olga eh, también, pero utilizado para la capa superior de los cuernos, eh, pues una eh, pasta ligera de estas de secado al aire. Okay, sorry for the sound in the background, but I forgot to stand my wings before uh, before we started. So the only mold that I will use from the previous release are bat wings. And uh, mine looks like that because I Ooh. use even leftover and you just uh, take your um, take your tool, the, the rubber one would be the best. And when resin starts that, you have to smear it inside of the mold and then you will get that cool distressed look on your uh, on your wings it's possible just with uh, resin clay will not work like that all those little pieces will will just broke down because it's it's paper thin you can see through it so it will work only uh, with resin unfortunately that's a very cool idea i love it i have to do it uh, okay, because the idea is that we will make a watch that will have that uh, skull on top, and that will be my... Okay, dangler is definitely not the good word, <laughs> but it's also not a charm, because instead of chain that is very flexible, I'm planning to use the one that was uh, in the mold, so... It's it's not dangling everywhere. It will it will still be uh, moving a little bit when you hang it, but because chain will not move every will be not uh, hyper flexible, but it will still have some movement. Hi, Terry. No, you are not late, sweetie. We just started. We just started. It no, no, just did one one layer of priming, so you know that. <laughs> okay, so um, it's a pity to put the gear underneath because it will be not visible, but I need something that will raise up my clock so I can add the wings. So I will have to use one of the nice castings for that. So it could be uh, anything, like a plastic round object, something that will just add some distance and allow me to attach those those wings on the side. Okay, and I will alter this one. 
So then I can push them a little bit further. Okay. And yes, some of my uh, castings are already painted, but I will repaint them because those are the ones that I was using to, uh, to make some pictures with. Uh, so I already painted them. Okay. Okay, and here I have two pockets for my wings and that will work just beautiful. Okay, so now, um, <laughs> how to put it in? The best option would be put a lot of heavy body gel and then wait for a day or two for it to dry, but we don't mm. have a day or two. So I will use a little bit of air drying clay. And I think that uh, Prima material for molds would work as well. I don't know, I didn't test the new one. Uh, I tested the, the previous formula that was on the market and that that paper clay would work really nice for this one. So I would assume that the new one would work the same. Okay. I'm pushing my clay into my gear. Okay. Okay, so go in, go in, go in. Hello, everyone. Okay, Moika is on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time. She really wants to watch. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nice. Okay, uh, in case that uh, you want, we are live with StreamYard, uh, so on the top of the uh, of the post that have um, the stream inside, you will have a quick disclaimer from StreamYard that you are uh, agreeing for StreamYard to display your username. So if you didn't approve this one, please do, then you can see your name in the studio. It will not post any any funny things uh, in your behalf on your wall, so you don't have to be stressed about it. Okay, and I will use a uh, heavy body gel with clay. It will mix together um, and create very um, very strong paste. And I will just push my wings into that and I'm working from the palette because my jaws are like always disgusting and it's so hot still that if I will have the, the open jaw on my desk my my gel would be dry in five minutes. Okay you see that I'm using a bone uh, here from one of the older modes and uh, it's curved um, so hopefully you know but in case you don't I'm going to show you how I do this with the with the modes it's super easy so let's pick another one that we want to use like this one no let's say no this is the same uh, one one that goes to the other side like this one okay fantastic so I'm going to pick it with my tweezers and I'm going to apply heat. You know, resin is just plastic. The so, is a uh, uh, mm, ceramic one, yes? Yes, the tip is ceramic, so it's not going to burn and I'm not going to burn myself. So I'm just heating the bone and it's going to be super flexible. Like, you see this? So what I'm going to do now is to hold it here for a second or two until it starts getting colder and it will hold that shape. Okay. 
Now time for me to do the priming. And I will prime with black and white gesso. The, the skull and the wings, I will prime in white. And the rest of the elements, I will prime with black. And I think that I want this one underneath my skull. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. She said, um, the bending of the bone, great idea and perfect to use as a handle for a drawer. Yes, absolutely. Now I want to have the bones all around my cloth, but I don't, I didn't run any. So there is a chance that after we will be done, I will go. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the disclaimer. It's fine. You know, like, I don't know why I'm still in this creepy mood. I made that uh, class with Finavara, creepy and cute. Yeah, so I think that it's I'm from... still in that mood. <laughs> you know, but Halloween is in... Yes, it's, it's already is Halloween for me. Yeah, we have 63 days to Halloween. I don't remember. I didn't check the Halloween countdown today yet. So, but it's already basically Halloween. Let's let's be honest. It's Halloween. Yes. Yes. It's Halloween for me. So I want this to be standing like this. So I need a little, two little legs. So it's not going to do this. So I thought of adding maybe something like this. Yeah. No. You know, just to stop it, to stop it from uh, running. Yeah, so I'm going to add the glue. You see, that is what I want to avoid. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nikki. So I'm going to add the glue and just, you know, place it there and see but it wants to stop like there whoops okay like okay so again heavy body gel and I actually can feel this one with clay as well to have nice support for my skull. And my comment section keep falling into frame. Sorry, guys. So to me, the, the best thing of these molds is that you can use them in so many ways. Uh, I love the creepy ones the most because uh, that is something very unique to the market. It's uh, mm, it's not very uh, often. Common, yeah, uh, companies will will go with uh, things like skulls. Uh, so I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I also love the uh, um, the bones. And I like the fact that there are right and left ones. So you can you can create completely 3D looks. I mean, as you can see with the skull, you can also make uh, make it 3D. Of course, you will have to alter the um, the back of the mold because then you have the, the face on the back and the front. But if you are sticking it to something, then it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't yeah. really matter. <laughs> oh, thank you, Moita. Hi. So are all the classes, um, you love all the four classes. Oh. You already watch them? That's amazing. Please quick watch. <laughs> we, oh. have, we, can, uh, we can show the classes because I'm pretty sure I still have the graphics. Yes. yes. Yes, I do. Okay, I will put them on the screen. 
Uh, so uh, while we are working, we can discuss it because um, um, we, so we... For those that don't know, uh, we put four classes together with Iveta, Siodina and Finavar. And you can get them in a bundle or individually, but I'm, I'm you know, the price that the bundle has right now <laughs> is like crazy. It's like you want one class for free basically yeah and those uh you know all the details about the uh the classes and the project uh we did the live stream like a week ago two weeks ago i, I don't can't remember not a long time ago so it's still somewhere on the top in the group <laughs> Uh, we talked about all the details um, and it started doing things together because uh, it's fun. It's fun to, to meet with everyone and it's fun to, to have a happy time with a friend. And we don't have so much of it lately because uh, uh, for last months we, we hang out. Uh, you know, on the time, uh, FaceTime, and we, we chit chat uh, quite a lot. But during the, the holidays, it's a crazy time. So we don't have time for actual hangout. So to, yeah. to chit out, we, we make a date with the live streams. So then, uh, then you can't cancel. <laughs> you have to show up and we can, uh, and we can do something together. Our last live stream i still really like my uh my work from all, all about the numbers oh yeah me too and it's the one of the uh of the words that i i liked enough to hang on the wall in my in my room <laughs> so that that is already telling a lot because uh i don't hang all my pieces it's not like I dislike them. I just hang the, the special ones because I don't have a lot of room and I prefer to hang somebody else's work over mine. So to, to, to make something that will take that space that could be taken by uh, my friends make means that I really have to like the, the project to hang it. Okay, so... A little bit of white gesso. And I'm not working on the table. I have a crafting mat uh, on top. So so, so I noticed that uh, this thing is going to fall all the time. So I'm going to place a little something here in this part. Yeah, that's sad, to help it. sad yeah. Uh, screw. Yeah. I need a screw head. Something small. What is my box? Wait a second. Don't worry, something goes anywhere. I'm I'm just just sewing everything. Hello. Oh, Moika checked. It's 65 days till Halloween. Yay. Okay. Okay. I got it. So. Just a little something that I can place in there and it's going to avoid this piece to fall all the time. Of course, I, I just touched the paint and I'm already uh, covered. You know, like a little bit just on my table and my hands look like that. Nunu already primed entire clock with black just <laughs> hands. I don't know how she's doing that. <laughs> Oh my god, 
I forgot. It's supposed to be challenged. Do everything with your hands. No. No way. No, I missed the opportunity. No. <laughs> It is getting very difficult in the UK to get any of Finnevar's mediums. The only things you can buy are the molds. Do you know who stocks them in the UK? Ooh. I think that uh, in UK, you can always order directly from Mixed Media Place. That will be the best selection. Um, I don't know how shipping from Ireland uh, would be. But that is Ireland and she will have to pay taxes. Oh, yeah, because of Brexit. Um, Art in Heart. Uh, give me one second. I will, I will, I will check. Hmm, in the UK. Maybe we have some. The Matt Scrapper in the UK has Finavar supplies. Thank you, Susu. Thank it's you. Too big. This is not working. Not working. So, <sighs> I will leave it. Um, what, I, what I'm gonna do is when I place it on my desk, then I will add something small enough, like, you know, a tiny piece of cardboard. But for now, I have to leave it. It is what it is. So let's glue this. This is going to be here. Um, this is going to be on top. Uh, Olga is missing. Um, I love mixed media has most of Finnevar products. Okay. Okay. Do we want the clock to be upside down? No. <laughs> because I have OCD, so... It's better if it's 12 is up. Yeah, something happened with Olga. Uh, she told me she, they have a storm. So maybe that is it. But I'm here. Uh, so on top of that, I want to add this moth. Okay, it's going to look cute. So let's add it. I just add a blob of gel, heavy body gel, and I press it down and any uh, excess of glue that is coming, I remove it with my paintbrush that is a little bit wet. Okay, so what else can we add here? I would like to add the cat, to be honest, because it's super creepy and adorable. So, hmm. I'm afraid it's not going to stay, but I want to try because it's going to look adorable. So, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I know that adding some cardboard my phone died, I'm coming back. Okay, she's coming back. <laughs> if I do like this, let me see. If I do like this and I do like that, yeah, it's going to be visible, I don't like it. So, no. I don't like it. But I can... Instead of that, I can use a small piece of cardboard that I can cut and hopefully glue in there. We will see. Something smaller. Like this. Like so. Let's place it there. So hopefully it's going to have a little bigger support. Hola Paloma. No te preocupes. 
hoy hablo solo en inglés, ya sabes que luego cuando el vídeo lo procese YouTube eh, le saldrán los subtítulos automáticos. Ok, so, let me see now. Like this. I don't know. Okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry. I didn't have my phone doing that beep beep sound that uh, says that the battery is dying. And I'm talking to you and I'm like, you know, I can't hear you. I think I lost the sound. Something is wrong with you. <laughs> I was like, why is she so quiet? <laughs> oh, okay, my. So far it's going to look nice, but I want to add something else like some tiny stars on the side and for that i have some tiny stars here that i can recycle from another project that die <laughs> i also recycle there was a time that i wasn't recycling resin caps but then i decided that it takes so much time to cut them again that it's worth of recycling Oh, yes. I'm, um, you know, the metal embellishments. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anna. Hello. 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 Okay. So, okay, so. I like yeah. the art thinking. Ooh, maybe the art. Uh, this, there is a uh, metal piece, but it doesn't go well with the school theme. It's, it will it will go to the cutesy side, and I I have like a very serious uh, vibe over here, very dark and serious vibe with that, with that angry soul. Okay, how about the tiny keyhole? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my legs are going. They they're going to be an obstacle here, so. Tweezers. So I know for now it's not very interesting because we are just gluing stuff, uh, but you know, constructing. But that's, <laughs> yeah, that's this is part of the process. And that's the one of the most important parts of the process because you know I never rush the uh, the construction or the priming. I never skip the priming because if you want to rush through some kind of phase, then the the middle part painting is the one that you want to rush because probably you will add a wash or glazing on top that will cover any boobies and both good priming and good finishing touches are, are always gonna save your butt. <laughs> It looks nice with that third bone on top. Yeah, I was thinking like I need three. <laughs> and that so. third one is looking like the, the handle that is on the top of the... Uh, of yeah, the and actually we had more time. I will shape it properly, a bigger bone to make it a handle, but I don't have time to hold that right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, that tiny. Yeah. Ow, 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 yeah, and it's burning. Like, tweezer like that will not work with the technique that Nuno is doing because it's completely metal one. So if you can't get a uh, hold on the ceramic one, I would recommend either the one that have the rubber on the uh, on the handle or at least a piece of rubber, because this one will get very hot and will burn your fingers. Yes. I'm very lucky my best friend Aditi sent, sent me these tweezers. <laughs> I have a ton of tweezers, and my favorite ones are the ones like your... Uh, no, it's different than your ceramic one. So I call it third hand. They are reverse tweezers, so you mm. stick them to the ring, and when you let them go, they just hold the object. 
so you don't have to squeeze it. It's uh, a little bit less um, hard on your wrist. I have a little problem with, uh, with my joint on the wrist. So not all of the tools are super convenient to you. With my nails, I have to use uh, a lot of tweezers. So that is my pro tip for everyone. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to add also some art bubbles, the tiniest ones that I can find on my stash. These are huge. I should have tiny, tiny, super tiny ones. I added way too much clay over here. Yes. Okay. Also, hope you should have uh, Fina Bas products. Okay, so we have Matt Scrapper and How Delicious in UK. Also oh. How Delicious. Okay, fantastic. So the Matt Scrapper, I love mixed media and How Delicious. So these uh, cabochons or art pebbles are so tiny that I'm using a toothpick to add the glue. And even with that, I'm adding a lot. Ooh. And I should have tiny, tiny. I could add this one. I will need a tiny hook, uh, but I can do it from from the mold. Where is my box with the mold? Really Hello, everybody it. that is joining. Hello. Celia uh, and uh, hello, Ma Mendy. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I'm weird. I, 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 I will not even cover the fact that I'm weird. <laughs> um, I'm weird too. So. It's Friday. It's okay to be weird. Oh, yes, it's Friday. Okay, so I think I will want to attach that tiny charm. I'm still not sure about it, but um, because there is an option like that, I will add one one link from uh, from the chain. So it will be hidden underneath my clock and uh, nobody will see it, but I will be able to put the jumping ring through it in case that I will decide that, yeah, we are, we are adding that charm. Okay. 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 And and that is one. I show you the scissors, and then I I hide every single pair, so I don't have any on my desk. No smart move. Okay, so that one will go Okay, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. And I think I will use some gears together with uh, with my chains. And I don't know if I want to use the metal gears. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. But of course, I don't have any brown ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still feel it's like a little bit dual in the clock, in the central clock. 
so I need to think of something to add in there. No, you, you are just used to making to to make very very full compositions. So when yes. you when you go on the simpler side, it's um, it it looks empty for you. I know. Unfortunately, that's that's a struggle. Being too much is a struggle. <laughs> yes. Is this is going to be too much, actually. So okay. I think I like it with that shuriken gear that looks very angry. I really like that gear, and I like this this gear as well. Mm -hmm. Hi, Vasilis. How are you, dear friend? I didn't see you for ages. What's up with you? Okay, so. Hi, Teresa. I think you have everything. This one will have to be replaced. I need the metal. Um, I had a moment of panic and I forgot that we were clapping uh, before the live stream and I put them next to me and I was like, no, I lost the entire box of embellishments. It's here. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm thinking something crazy. So... Are you crazy? You know, I will not believe that. I just want to try to see how it looks if I bend this bone and also glue it. You can show you. It will look awesome. I can show you that already, that it will look awesome. So, oh, yeah. If I do like this, mm, what I will put underneath? <laughs> okay, I wasn't prepared for that occasion, but I'm pretty sure I will find a scrap of paper. Okay, so I want to replace the bottom ring with this one, but it have to have something in the back to, to stick to, at least for now. Because uh, heavy body gel will hold it when it's dry, but I don't have patience to wait for heavy body gel to dry. <laughs> so if I will use a tiny scrap of paper. I will slide it underneath my clock. So only a little, a little corner will. I will use a huge blob of heavy body gel. And I will place my screw inside. Now I want it to be exactly symmetrical to the one on top. Go on, go on. Okay. Like that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Stay in place. Oh, it's broken. Okay, no, I don't like it. <laughs> Ah, I don't like it. It's fine. Okay. There is, there is a piece of paper underneath that the screw is sitting on. It's also touching that uh, that gear that is underneath. So it all have the one base that I'm sticking everything to. So I can read that piece of paper later on from the back of uh, of the album. It will not interfere with the entire composition. Okay. I know what to do. 
So instead of complicating myself, I'm just going to glue some art stones with uh, soft matte gel, for example. Where are the art stones? Here. I need a star. I need a star. I want a star. I want the pinnacle dimension. I... Mm. Okay, so. I just need a brush, if possible, that is clean. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I can help you with the clean brushes because today it was cleaning day and all my brushes are clean. <laughs> Baby, okay. Every time when I'm cleaning my brushes, I'm thinking of you because I have that, uh, that <laughs> clean for me. And every time, because... Uh, I will be honest, all my brushes, when I clean them, they are basically stiff. You can you can use them as the stirring stick because I keep forgetting about them. And that that cleaning plate that I got from you, oh, my God, it's a lifesaver. It's the best. I know. Because I have a really fun one. Uh, and we are talking about the brush cleaning tool. It's basically like a, like a little... Uh, it's a piece of plastic with with the spikes. Yeah, but it's it, hard. It's not silicone. It's hard plastic. It looks like a little flat hedgehog, and it's the best thing ever to clean your brush because yes. it's it's a little bit harder. So the the brush that dried, you just rub it in, and everything will go away. And uh, amazing thing. Yeah, I know. Okay, should I add a screw on top? No, not this one. Should oh, I have this one. This one will be really cool to be added here. Yes, I will put it on the side because it's already in the correct ish color. Okay, and I can. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you? No. Okay, so I dropped my box with entire, with little gears and screws, and my entire floor is covered now. Oh, I hope the kitties are not there. No, they are not, but all my embellishments were sorted. So from my sorted box, I went to this to the pile of metal junk. <sighs> and I can't even blame cats because they are not here. Yep, no they fall this time. And okay. that's the reason why they are banned because they, they keep making a mess and it turns that I, I'm perfectly fine with making my own mess. I don't need assistance in that the power um, okay so time to gesso and i will um i need just one chain but i will just so love them i'm still not sure if i don't want to stick them together so then it will be a little bit more 3d we will, we will just just so two of them to to stick them together i need the back to be perfectly flat and it will work with the clay as well especially with that super light clay that is uh, elastic but it works I'm still considering adding the bones somehow. You can you can add them all around the base. Yeah, but I already glued some stuff. So I'm going to leave it for now and dry it and prime it and paint it. And maybe tomorrow, of course, I will add something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready to prime. 
I also like to, to cry multiple times, maybe not as many as Nunu, but for the white children, I prefer to, to cry only, only one, and the black gesto will make all my water very dark. So It's so unfair that I have such a fame because I only prime it once. <laughs> <laughs> so far. But generally, you, uh, you try a couple times. And I will be completely honest. I often have, if, if I have any cuttings left after live stream, I will put them to the separate bolts. And from that bolt, time to time, I will pick stuff. And then I just primed them ahead. So a lot of my elements from, from the box is already with I'm one. Already priming, yeah. yeah. So I made fun of you for priming so many times, but to be fair, if you count the amount of the 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 paint layers on my elements, probably I, I prime more than me. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Who would count like that? <laughs> Hi, Asha. Uh, Hi, Asha. Okay. okay, so where is my... Is this one? Yeah. I'm using my black gesso left over in the tube. I'm pretty sure uh, with the black gesso, I have the spare one somewhere. But I prefer not to open it uh, yet, because if I will open the, the product and start to use it, it will start to dry on me in the jar or in the tube. And right now it's super hot, so everything that normally would still be okay will be super, super dry in no time. Yeah. And yeah, and I don't like to waste perfectly good products. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm the same. I never open a new jar until I have finished the previous one completely. Yeah, with the tubes, it's a little bit easier because I just don't allow any air inside of the tube and then we are fine. But with the jars, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's a struggle. Okay. So now priming everything black, except wings. Okay, oops, a lot of... Not dry yet. And it's too hot to overuse heat gun, and we will have to heat it anyway. So let's just hold it in place. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Oops, now I stuck. So as I'm very meticulous, uh, in ideal time for my project, I will prime all the pieces separately, and then I will glue them, and I will just add a little bit of gesso on top of any glue that is visible. But that's that's the perfect word that uh, you have all the time on the word. Exactly. And it would be uh, perfect if we would not hold you guys for entire evening and half of the night. Especially, <laughs> I suppose to schedule it one hour earlier and somehow, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> you know, I was so stressed, like, oh my God, 15 minutes, I have no idea what I'm doing. And she was like, okay, I see you in an hour and 15 minutes. And I was like, what? <laughs> But I, I even sent you graphics to approval, and there was a timing on the graphics. <laughs> yeah, I posted that, but I, I trust, I trust. It's fine. I, I have here. 
I have no idea how it happened, but the problem is that, you know, uh, Nunu is not a very late evening person. I I'm mean, not functional after nine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she, she's perfectly fine to have a conversation, but maybe not to think about the crea creative solutions. Exactly. So, I have no idea how it happened. Uh, the, probably it's my fault. <laughs> I can no, take the blame. I was just very excited that you know I planned everything a week ahead. That never happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and all the you can see what I'm doing because I have um, black gesso will will make everything black. So I have a separate uh, piece of the um, file folder and I'm just making sure that my links also inside of each link that I I do add that black gesso. So let's move this guy a little bit up so then you can see. So uh, you see I'm working on a metal tin. It's very important when you work on metal that you use a good primer, okay? This says heavy gesso, but this is a primer. It means that it will work on top of any non puddle surface such as metal, glass, or plastic. If you use any regular gesso, you will be able to peel it off with the nail super easily, and it won't hold the paints or anything properly. So that is why it's so important to use Finabar heavy gesso. Also, priming gives you um, an equal surface. So even, you know, if you mix uh, materials, and we often add paper, metal, plastic, and uh, everything in between. Resin, yeah. yeah. Resin. Um, so if you use gesso, then you have nice, even surface. It's, uh, oh my God, uh, you know the word because I heard it in it's one of- It's homogeneous. The... Yes, exactly, homogeneous <laughs> uh, surface that, and you make sure that everything will take color in the same way. Yeah. Of course, it's fun to experiment and to have paper combined with metal and some things will uh, stain uh, more heavily than others. But I think that especially for the beginners, it's better to work in the um, unified surface because nothing will surprise you. And if you do a good priming, you can always go back to the time you can always wipe everything off and uh, and work from there and it will pay off it it's it takes a lot of time to do a good preps but good preps can save you uh, some tears later on yeah I often have questions like oh I did the same steps you did but it doesn't look the same why it's because you are not using quality products. That is so important. I know it's very temp tempting to buy cheap stuff, uh, but sometimes it's better to get better quality products if you want better results. You can that we can uh, use and buy cheap, you know, like a lot of metal embellishments you can replace with old jewelry on. Um, Facebook marketplace or um, yeah, you know, in the charity shops, for example, you can you can buy uh, old jewelry that will work beautifully as the embellishments, but you can't replace a good quality medium product. Yeah, and at this stage, I can't afford to be cheap on products because then it will take either more time, more effort, or more of the product or worse results if you are skilled you can achieve similar result but you will use way more products so in the long run you are spending exactly the same amount of money exactly okay it's time for me to dry everything 
So I'm applying second coat in some areas where I see that it's not super black, even though I'm going to use uh, impasto paint now that is super thick and very covering. Uh, and impasto already have uh, the primer. Yeah. primer, but I would still prime for the glass or plastic, uh, even with impasto, because there is no better primer than having primer. <laughs> yeah, the primer. And the primer that you have in, in pasto, you know, that in pasto part that is your primer, it will just make sure that the paint will adhere better to the surface. But gesso works both ways. It adheres to the surface. Yeah, it will give you the grip for everything, for the glue, for the paints, for waxes, for whatever. Um, sometimes you see that I use uh, metal embellishments and I change the color using waxes. So if you want that to work, you have to prime first. Yes, take your metal piece, prime it with, I don't know, clear gesso from Finebar, and then you can change the color with waxes very easily with just one coat. Otherwise, you have to add the wax wait for it to dry for hours and then add wax again it will it will rub off anyway uh, wax yeah. will not be permanent on the metal element because peanut butter waxes are actually wax based so every time you warm your object and metal things warm up to the same temperature if you ever touch freshly heat gun element that is metal. You know what I'm talking about. It's yes. your finger. So if you apply wax without any primer, it will be wide of the, uh, the surface. Okay. So I have my piece primed. Okay. Only the back remains. I, I want to do the back because this looks very ugly. Just a second. I still have some gesso left here, and as you could see, I'm uh, I'm running low, so I will not allow any anything to to waste. So I will also prime those two chains. Those are big chains, also from the new molds. Oh my god! And again, my comment section is in the frame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Priming, 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 keep priming, priming, priming. <laughs> but it's so satisfying once you prime and you can finally paint, making sure mm -hmm. everything is prepared. One of the most satisfying stages, especially with the very complicated, complex uh, projects that have multiple textures, when you're priming white, it's not so visible. But when you're priming black, it is very visible when you move your object around and you see the, the spots that you missed. So I yeah. absolutely love the moment when it's blacked out, like completely, and I get... A serious dopamine boost from the fact that everything is nicely primed. <laughs> okay, this one has to be dry as well. Actually, it doesn't have to be dry because it's already dried because the wave here. Okay. okay, now this makes me happy. Oh, look how even we work. We are basically at the same stage. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now I have a dark chocolate impasto paint. I'm going to add a little bit here. And I'm going to cover not everything, but mainly. A little bit of water because it's hot here, so. It's going to dry fast, so with a little bit of water, I'm okay. going to make it a little bit less thick. Somebody is asking the question. I will put it on the screen because I can't uh, 
Yes, you can rewatch it. The the live stream stays on, uh, uh, on in the, the group. group. Yeah, and it will be on our YouTube channels right now. If somebody, because lately Facebook is acting out, so if you struggle with watching on uh, on Facebook, you can hop on to Nunu's channel, and I will re-upload to mine tomorrow. So. Uh, you can uh, hop in and off and come back and rewatch moments that you missed. And I think that they stay in group forever and ever, 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 ever. Yes. Okay, so I kind of dry brushing, not dry brushing, but kind of. I mean, I'm not covering everything. I just want some of the black to be visible in the uh, deepest areas. But so I take it a little bit of the black of the brown. I remove the excess in a kitchen paper and I just brush it. Uh, so yeah, uh, bye to Jean because she have to go and she's wishing everyone a good weekend and a good weekend for you too. Um, do we have uh, Oh yeah, and Luis uh, says that uh, she also likes that that moment when you know you see everything completely covered with uh, yes with the primer. Okay. So now my chain, and I think that, yeah, I will, uh, no, I will use the single one, or maybe double one, single or double, single or double, single and double. If it's supposed to be double, then I we have We don't know, to... because we don't know what you are going to do with that. <laughs> it will be, uh, I will divide it into two parts, and that will be, you know, like the the piece that the the entire pocket watch is dangling on. Something like the charms that we did on creative whispering with Anna, mm -hmm. just a little bit less uh, complicated and advanced. Because my charms took uh, a long time to be born. I'm still super proud of them, but they they. They took me a decent amount of time, and I don't think that anyone wants to sit here for ever and ever, 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 and wait for me to decide <laughs> on which color of the crystal I want to use. Okay, so for resin, I have to cheat, and I will use a super glue because. Um, Super glue and resin are the same material. It's polyurethane. So it will give me a nice seamless uh, connection and instant dry. And unfortunately, I need instant dry because I should make up my mind like at the beginning that I want to combine the chain to have it ready. And now I can't be behind. So I'm cheating with the super glue. And I was already punished because I already feel that <laughs> did it. Um, okay, come on. Come on. So when you add the first coat of brown on top of black, um, it's not going to be super visible. So I'm adding second coat on top and it's already dry because it's in pasto it dries super fast and my piece is still a little bit hot because i dry it with a uh, heat tool so it's drying really fast i wonder why my comments only come through as facebook user when you put my question on the screen it does show in the chat but anyhow i'm crystal castle Nice to meet you all. Oh, that is because we are using a StreamYard platform to go live and you have to allow StreamYard to show your name. 
it's on the top of the post. Uh, if you look at it, that there should say something like, "I'm going live with the Streamyard." Uh, I don't remember what is next. You you do it just once. It will not post anything on your wall, and they will not have any access to any of your non-public data. It just allows uh, to show your um, your name, the name uh, for us in studio, because uh, I can't check. Uh, I can check on my computer uh, the usernames, but. Uh, my glasses are not that strong, so from my desk, I have to make a couple steps. <laughs> okay. So, my brown is ready. In the chat, we can see on Facebook, we can normally see your name, so it's it just for the live stream. Not. Maybe, yes, no, okay, let's see with the score. Yes, thank you, Crystal. Okay, I'm not the stranger in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some brown and some white spots that I can see. So that resin trick that Nuno showed works also with the primed elements. In case that you wonder, it will work also with the primed elements and that uh, chain of beads that is on the new mold is just perfect to, to put around the object. I will show you. Oh no, I have to hold it. I have to hold it for it to be my, but look how how cool it is and it doesn't break or anything like that you have perfect oh how cool place. is that on top over here hola mari hola. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can start painting as well because I see that Nuno is already quite advanced with that. I will just clean my hair so you can see the mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to So I have my base color ready. And now I want... Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, everything. You are not a packer today. Oh, my God. It's burning. I keep forgetting his metals. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> so, I have my base color, I was saying, and now I'm going to add waxes. <clears throat> so, I have my shades of brown and similar here. And I have to decide which one I want to use. And I think I, I will go with the bronze age and then maybe I can add a little bit of age brass in some areas to highlight. Okay. Yeah. So. I will go with in linen. Le linen. Uh, in C O E. Okay. It's this one. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I know that in theory it's not brown, but it still is. Because to can, me, it's brown. Yeah, you can get the same color if you add just a tiny dot of amber to white gesso. And um, that's what actually I had on mind uh, when we came up, when I came up with the monochromatic. Uh, theme to show uh, how you can mix colors. So I don't have the full palette of colors in Impasto. I have full palette uh, except white in liquid acrylic, but I don't have all the colors in Impasto. I just have my basics that I know I can mix in. Uh, and uh, you don't even know the color theory to, to mix them in. It's 
it's quite you know logical if you want something to to be a little bit lighter then add white if you don't want it to go pastel then add color like linen because it's not completely white so if you will mix it with blue it will not make mud it will make lighter neutral blue that hint of neutral brown will uh will work to your favor if you uh if you don't go for very bright or very pastel look okay so i will start with that linen because i can talk for england and in the meantime all my paint will dry so i start adding my wax and you can already see the details this is so satisfying so simple and so satisfying Waxing, yeah. Yeah, I love waxing, it. Waxing, waxing. So I, I go quite heavy because I will add another color on top. So this is like base color of the wax. Okay, I'm painting skull with that linen shade and I feel that they already dry on my palette. It's really hot. So one spritz of water. To, to make sure that it will not dry too fast. But you can see that I squeezed it as the paste and it's already uh, already moving around on the palette. Okay, and a little bit on the horns. So right now it looks like that. Okay, and all the leftover of that a uh, linen shade I will add to my wings because wings I want to have in a little bit lighter shade okay so even though you see I'm adding quite a lot of the wax I do it I'm doing it quite carefully I, I pick just a tiny bit I remove the excess of my kitchen paper and I gently touch the surface, the top surface, and I go a little bit on the deepest areas, but I don't want to cover all the black and all the brown that I already added. Okay. I, I need to, uh, I need my paint to wait for a second and we don't want to waste it. So, I will take a piece of file folder, tiny spritz of water, and I will just press the edges. I don't squeeze the paint. I just make sure that water will seal the edges of my foil so the paint over here will stay, will stay wet, even if I will use a heat gun to dry my piece and I can move it a little bit with my Yeah, you fix it, Crystal. Yay! Well Woo! done. And you only have to do it once. Everyone that is going live in the group using Stranger, uh, you don't have to do it again. It will remember you. Okay, let's move this guy a little bit here. Oh, and my paper stays. But the, the little thingy, it's already attached, so it's fine. Okay. So I will use wax as well. And I had the bronze age somewhere on my desk. And now it's not here. Okay, it's here. I, I'm, in still, I'm still amazed how the two of us decided to use clocks and to go for rounds without talking. <laughs> no, great minds think alike. <laughs> what? Okay, so a little bit on the edges, and I'm going with the bones. So I will go with the wax, and I went quite heavily too heavy so i will just smear that wax around for now okay and the same with that chain that's supposed to be 
done already. Okay. So I will cover it with the wax all around so that they have cohesive coloring. Okay. And now, where are my buffers? Where are all my buffers? I don't have any. Okay, I do have one. I'm here. Okay, so now the old towel, and I will buff off all the excess. I can go a little bit heavy because um, when you heat up gel, heavy body gel, it will dry and be sticky almost instantly. Okay. So this will not remove the product, but it will make sure that I have just nice, very thin coat all over my object. Now when we have our base color, we will go with a Tiger Eye Jewel Effect Paste. And I will use it like it would be a paint. It's a paste that have uh, little crystals inside. Very nice, very sparkly, and still in the brown color family. Okay. I will take the same brush. I should okay. use a different brush, but uh, I already have the one. Don't okay. 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 He was crying, so I allow, I allow him in the studio again. Oh, hello, hello. So say hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> you will have to go with him to the hairdresser. Yeah, he has a an appointment next week because he's a horrible. Okay. I need like fifteen minutes, Miguel. Okay. So this one is already nice and metallic looking. Do, 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 do. Okay, now it's time to to mm -hmm. Oops, I forgot okay. about my beads. So I will add them as the very last step because they will go uh, around. Okay, where is the brush? Come back here. And let's add a little bit of that metallic shine. Okay, I'm going to add some light with a brass. Oh. Tiny oh. bit. So now it's kind of dry. Yeah. What brush did you use, Olga? Uh, I used this one. No, she's asking for the wax. For wax, it's uh, Bronze Age. They are very similar in color. Uh, tiger's Eye is just a little bit uh, on the warm side of the brown palette. So it's a little bit more reddish. Don't confuse with radish. It's reddish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now um, I'm taking... Um, Burn Sienna, and I'm adding my color quite heavily, not diluted at all, to my skull. I'm trying to focus on the deepest areas of the skull. Okay, one quick spritz. Make sure that we have a good flow. 
and that will dry quite quite fast. That's why I'm I'm working fast with my brush because uh, I already learned my lesson that this is not a weather that I like to to everything <laughs> dry. Well, for the classes, for that collaborative class project, I have to repaint my dress like three times. Yeah. So let, let me tell people what happened. <laughs> we decided to go with the classes, okay? And then it was a super heavy heat Wait. wave in Spain. And I was not able to pour the resin because the resin was already curing in the jar before I was able to put it in the mold, okay? And I was like, hey girls, I need one more week to do my project because this is happening. And they said like, yeah, yeah, but I felt like they didn't believe me. <laughs> and three days later, Olga tried to do it. <laughs> and it was almost impossible. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't blend the colors because they were instantly drying. And uh, I already had a little mishap. So I have two mannequins because I have to redo the project because for some kind of reason, part of the footage didn't record. And I think it's also because of the heat wave because I already burned one modem. And uh, when it's so hot, devices also like to act out. Yep. So, yeah, that was an adventure, but thanks to the fact that we were together in it, yeah, we actually um, pushed it through without a major delay. Well, I woke up at five in the morning to pour the resin. <laughs> I had, the, I had the vision of you standing, you know, inside of the fridge with... <laughs> <laughs> with everything and doing your course like like that okay i'm adding some warm touches with red amber oh i love this color i switched for the uh, amber liquid acrylics to have more variety of colors right now the the skull looks um a little bit dull but i will fix it in one minute i just need a nice layer of the color over here and i will dip a little bit into that uh, dark chocolate and pasta that is perfect brown for acrylic paint because that's the topic that it's not discussed enough most of the browns that you have on the market in acrylic cover full cover paint will have <clears throat> a shade that reminds a poo more than um <laughs> so that is my absolutely favorite brown is not warm it's not cold it doesn't look like anything except chocolate so the, yeah. the chocolate name is very very fitting here Okay, so my colors, the waxes I'm using, are blending because they are still wet. Um, it would be ideal to have them dry before adding the last one because I'm already in the last stage because I have to go. You yeah, know what? I, I will leave Olga alone. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, I will manage. So I sprayed my uh, my wings uh, with water to make sure that I will have enough time to apply my colors. And I'm using a mix of all of them. They are all acrylic and I use them quite diluted because the wings will be very light, but I need, I need them to be a little darker. So then the dry brush will show on the top. So I'm using now white pearl to highlight. You hooked me on that white pearl. You realize that. After the <laughs> last live stream, I definitely abuse white pearl in my way. I know. I love it. It's my favorite. I was literally jumping when Finabar uh, showed it. <laughs> in the Patreon uh, live stream. Like really, I was jumping <laughs> of happiness. 
I wasn't very, in, you know, like excited for the white pearl. I was like, mm, th th that is one color that I actually don't need in the palette. But then uh, he, he, he did something. I, I will blame you for that. He, he, you just turned me on, on using white pearl as the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> I put a spell on you. <laughs> In my head, you know, white pearl uh, have the connotation with the older lady painting the nails when uh, when my <laughs> grandma was going to the beauty salon. There was always a lot of older ladies, and they always, uh, you know, when they went for the nails, do you have a white pearl or maybe rose pearl? So very light pink pen. Yes, you are right. Oh my God, I I just can't uh, get rid of that image from my head. <laughs> and now I'm old lady that loves white pearl. Yeah. So I so the white pearl. Sorry, Olga. The white pearl. Uh, mm -hmm. The white pearl. I'm adding it with my finger, so I just touch the very tops. So that will be very intense look if you apply uh, with your finger because you will get a lot of uh, shimmer from that. Yeah. I'm using a mix of my browns and black. And as you can see, I uh, over apply my product and then I remove the excess with, with my towel. It's my favorite technique to, to use to add the distress, grungy, and often disturbing look to the objects. Because um, towel gives me uh, an option of completely removing the product or just controlling how much of it I want to have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my God, your clock looks so nice. It looks cute and old. It looks very, very nice. I like it. So mm -hmm. I need to add some extra light inside. Oh, I miss one gear, one gear. So I just realized I miss one gear inside. Let's highlight that. Yeah. Now it's much better. Now you can see there is a gear inside. Yeah, I really had to go because I'm hearing. No yeah, worries. Go, go, go. <laughs> He's I out of control. Play. But, but I want to add some glitter. I just need to find it. No worries. I will stay. I will be keep. Uh, I will keep going until I. Uh, I have almost finished. Um, it's. I schedule it too late. Sorry. Sorry. No. God. No. You know, it's like it's nail uh, time for a walk. Um. So, that's it. That I should be out with him. That's why he's crying. Yeah, that is why he's crying. Okay, so tiny bit of um, soft gloss gel here and there where I added the art stones. Okay, I'm using dry brush and that leftover linen paint to add highlights. Hi, Christina. Hi, David. Hello, hello. Oh my God, David, are you done yet? That was quick. <laughs> that was quick. That was quick. Okay, and I'm shading my wings with that linen as well. I'm trying not to add pressure, just to to twirl my um, my 
my brush around. Oh, and Moika says that you use that white pearl on your uh, goblet. Mm -hmm. Before, you could, you could show the goblet because I can show my work later on. Yeah, I can show the goblet. Okay. Where's my goblet? It's clean because you flow. I actually heavy. use it to, to contain some of my waxes, but I want to remove that so I can show you how shimmery it is. Oh and I use wow. waxes and I use liquid acrylics and I use mica powders and it's magic. Okay, let's be honest. No, no, use absolutely every product in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a little scared that my uh, list would be too long, but it's not. It's not. Okay, guys, so this is my clock. I really hope you like it. I have to go yeah, and I'm very sorry. No worries. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I will like stop. with your Venus project, Olga. Uh, I will send you a picture. Go with the dog because he will okay. pee inside. Yes, yes, that's true. So thank you guys. I'm leaving, but I'll leave you here with Olga. Bye. I will, uh, I will stay to definitely uh, go a little bit farther. So as you can see, I'm adding dog and light colors, I go back and forward because I want to build up the color in some areas and some areas I want to have very highlighted. And I keep those, those colors that I have here and I'm just mixing them to add nice depth. Okay. I still have to dry brush it white and go one more time with liquid acrylics for, ah, for the perfect finish. Okay. Okay, and I have those elements that I will attach on the top to my chain. Okay, let's dry it. Let's try it. Ooh, I'm alone on Nunu's channel. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that she have no idea that she left me alone on her YouTube. <laughs> okay. I know it looks right now like I lost uh, all the shimmer, but I didn't. I didn't lost it all yet, and we will go with it again. Okay. Okay, so now a little bit of white gesso. I can clean my palette to have the white one for sure. Okay. I just need a tiny dot, a tiny dot, and a fluffy brush. So I do touch my gesso just very gently. I make sure that I have product on my brush, but just a little bit. Look, it's not painting. It's just leaving the, the, the shadow like a cast. Okay, that one is not dry, and I will drag the color again. So again, to dry it in the deepest area. Okay. So, a highlight on the skull. Leave it, and now highlight on the wings. And don't go too heavy because then you will just paint, not a dry brush. 
and on my base as well as on my chain. Okay, remove the axis and just add very light layer. I might do it twice. That super thin coat of paint will dry in no time. And remember that gesso is not acrylic paint, so it is not as opaque as, uh, for example, white impasto would be. It just uh, gives you that highlighted look. Okay. Okay. I think I want more highlight here. Okay. I will leave the brush out. And now I will go with the burnt sienna and a lot of water. Okay, wait. So I would I will spray my elements and add a little bit of water and you can already see how uh, how quickly it reacts and I will just paint it over. It seems like that is a pointless, you know, to, to add white and then to add brown. But thanks to that, I will get all the difference, differentiation in the shade because liquid acrylics is not opaque. So uh, it is translucent paint and you, you will be able to see through the paint the areas that were highlighted. They will be stained, they will not be white or cream. They will still be uh, brown, but it will be obvious that they are highlighted. Okay, and now again, the horns. On the horn, you can see it very well that though I painted brown, you can still see all the texture. The more water you will add, more transparent the paint will appear. Okay, now I will wet my towel and I will rub on my score high points quite hard to remove a lot of product. It was clay, so it will go back to very light coloring. And again, I can use a little bit of that chocolate brown to get a deeper shade. Okay, and a white wet towel. Okay. I still need to lighten the skull and maybe a little bit the wings. Take off all the puddles. Do not have too much moisture. Uh, the chain looks good. I don't have to do anything to it. And I somehow moved my star from the middle section. So I will place it back and press in. Okay. And now I have to dry it again. One more coat and we will be almost done. Look how messy you get. It doesn't make me feel so bad now. Yeah, I, I am very messy. Though my workstation will be clean in like five seconds after we are done. Because um, everything is covered with non slippery stuff. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I will use sanitizer to clean my hands. Um, it will remove all the products. And I like to get messy. I, I start with quite decent surface and then it goes like that. I'm trying to clean my palette to, to give you some uh, visuals <laughs> of the color. But I don't know how to make stuff 
in the YouTube friendly, you know, super nice way. I absolutely adore how uh, Nunu is working, her videos, you know, always a very clean space. Uh, I can't, I can't, even when I clean as I go, I will have this, this thing. The, the messy palette is, um, is my comfort zone. If, if my frame have to be clean, I will be very, very anxious about it. <laughs> okay. And again, I don't want to have too much. And that's another thing about uh, choosing the products that you are working with, because uh, I have super sensitive skin. So, and as you can see, I work with my hands and cheaper products often cause uh, some kind of reaction on my uh, on my skin. They shouldn't, because there shouldn't be anything in, um, especially acrylic mediums, because resin, alcohol inks, etc. Yes, they. Uh, it's not recommended to use them with uh, gloves, but acrylic products you should be able to use without gloves, without any issues. But sometimes it happens that I will get a reaction. Okay. And with Finn's product, it never happens. But yeah, I'm messy. I am messy. That's why I can't believe that Nunu left me alone over here. <laughs> I can make such a mess in no time. Okay. So I will not add any more dark colors to my wings. I will leave them up in a second so you can see how I build up color over there. Okay. Just a little bit more to enhance the texture. And with skull, I like I like it to look like a, like a bone. So at the end with all the leftover, I just pick it up on my brush and I will tap it. So it will have a different shades of that white. Okay, very deep, very deep, very deep. Okay, so go up. So you can see that all the veining on my wings is super nice and super visible. Like, do, do I have a white surface over here? Yeah, because so I actually prepared the, uh, the palette for today. So we will transfer this guy. Okay, the bottom part didn't stick yet. He stayed on the plate. We'll add it later on. But now you you will be able to see the texture on the wing. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, and my messy, 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 messy palette goes here. Goes here. Okay, so now one last time, burn sienna. And uh, my tiger, tiger's eye jewel paste, like just a smidgen. Because I just want a little bit of that uh, glittery look. Now let's, Let's plan this guy. So this one will go all around, but I need a gap for my skull, and that will be a perfect gap for the skull. I just have to cut this much, okay. Upper, now exactly the same amount, the same amount of beads, you can actually count them I don't, I will just eyeball it. 
here is my 3D gel leftover. Come on. Uh, and it's glossy product, so it will be not very visible with uh, a little bit shimmery finish. Okay. Okay. And for for actual last part of my work, I will just tell you what to do. What I will do, because um, that will require everything to be dry and uh, not heat gun dry but actually dry dry go here perfect all the leftover of that gel will go on the bottom of my score i will scrape off all the excess add a little bit of jewel paste because jewel paste or icing paste will will make a very very good adhesive as well. Okay, when they dry, they dry. Like nothing will move that. Okay, I'm picking up all the leftovers of my adhesive. Stay here. Perfect. So again, I'm spritzing the water on my burnt sienna and I will add it all around my clock and on the horns and underneath my skull because I constructed it separately. So I want everything to just combine together nicely. Okay, now with the clean brush, the water is not clean because I use dark colors, so my water is already a little bit muddy. So that dirty water now is a little helper. Okay, again, if you have any spots, on the wings that you want to darken up that's your like last moment unless you want to go back and do it all again okay both of those have the white product on so another brush that will be dry i like the super soft ones but i don't have it in that size and I pick up that tiger paste and I will just add a smidgen here and there, but only to my uh, watch part, not to the skull and not to the wings because they they supposed to be not shimmery at all. Okie dokie. So now can I lift you up? Yes, I can. That's great. So now I will explain my idea in full. So here we will have probably a little um, a little hook underneath my skull that I can attach uh, an extra charm to. On the top, we have the chain that I will trim off here. And with my jumping rings, I will add those two gears on top. So basically all together, all together will create a really nice hanging piece. Okay, and my main creation today is, is the charm that I'm super happy with. I really like how jagged the, the wings are and uh, how cool score look like. Okay, now uh, before I will wrap it up, I can look at your comments. Hi David, yes, it looks great, I love it. Okay, hola! <laughs> okay guys, so that's it. That's monochromatic 
approach. So I basically use uh, only browns, but I think when I will make pictures tomorrow, because uh, I don't have the best lightning here, you will see more differences in shades and colors. And uh, in case that anyone struggles with starting the, uh, the collection and uh, they are wondering how, how to go, I always go with brown because I like brown, I like grungy, I like darker vibe. So I, even if the product is not for me, uh, I will still use it up for sure. So, okay, that was, uh, that was fun. Uh, Uh, that was fun uh, to hang out with you and to, to hang out with Nunu. I absolutely love uh, our hangout uh, moments and I love to do collaborative projects with my friends because they, they will push me a little bit farther from my comfort zone and, and it's always fun and we can hang out and create something together. Soon I will be here live with uh, Iveta um and uh, Iveta and Anna will be live in the group uh, as well uh, I will add uh, to the description box the the link to the live stream that we we did all of us together and it was fun I really like to to meet you guys uh, in the group and thank you to all my patreons who showed up uh in the comments i really appreciate you have a nice weekend everyone and see you soon